Snaddle, buddy, can't get enough of how you walk. It's so, so strange, but I love it. Woof, woof, woof. So we meet again. My plan was perfect. The only problems were that utterly useless Lavrina and Gorgon. And you. You spoiled the brilliant plan I had devised for Fenac City. And thanks to that terrible hard-nosed woman, I suffered the humiliation of having my worst moment broadcast all over Ore. To gain Master Grievel's forgiveness, and for me to assume my rightful position as Governor of Ore, I must defeat you. This time, I won't be shy about revealing to you the full extent of my power. He says this now, but with so much at stake last time, don't you think he would have been fighting at full power then? Just saying, Snaddle, I think you need to get prior your priorities in order. But, uh, I say he's got his priorities on his team pretty well in order, because he's starting off with Mata- And there we go! Caught Starmie successfully, now for Soul Rock. So as I throw this ball, that is going to contain your defeat, Mr. Snaddle, I have a question for you. Were you always crazy as a Lunatone, or did you just recently become solid as a Soul Rock? Ha <laughs> ha! Gotta take down my opponents with bad puns. It's just the way things are. What have you to say? My plan! It was supposed to be perfect! Shielding his face just in case that woman with the clown shoes has a camera nearby. Ugh, my plan! My perfect plan! Master Grievel, forgive me! Can't have a Snaddle appearance that I'm running away like a scared little girl. So he goes back into that elevator. But what is very- whoa, freaking interrupting. What is really nice about that is that now that we have come to the top, we can now use this elevator that Grievel used earlier any time we wish. Meaning that if you need to go back down and heal or use the PC or take care of purifications, that is nice and easy for you. But, you're leaving already? Not before I show you my brand of hospitality. Cleef. Hey, he's the bodyguard of the Cleefs. No wonder they put him there. Oh, I get it. You're using Blissey. Duh, that's why you have hospitality. I understand you now, Mr. Bad Guy, sir. And you know what else? I'm going boom! <laughs> oh, that feels so good. I know that it's going to hurt Voltaire as well, but you know what? I don't care. I get to blow up Blissey. Nice voice crack there. Okay. Ah, oh, oh, that, that, that's good hate. That is good, good hate. Oh, down you go, Blissey. Down you go. Of course, Shuckle survives, but I don't care. We're gonna throw out Mustache and Trifecta now. And let's end this battle. I don't see this going on much longer, aside from these really long sending out animations, because we gotta see them twice. I was complaining about that. I really need to find new things to complain about, but it's just something that really, really irks me. I'm sorry to have held you up, he says. Well, at least he's nice about it. He did say he was going to be hospitable. Third time I'm bringing that up, but still, it is what he said. Ah, oh, I'm poisoned. All right. Thank goodness the Pokemon healing machine is in here. I'm going to heal up, and I will see you guys back at the top. All right. It's been a while, boy. Do you remember me? Do you recall this? I helped you in Gatian Port. There is no need for thanks. I was merely punishing a fool that used a shadow Pokemon in public. At the time, we didn't want the world to know what we, Cypher, were planning. Back then, I thought you were just an ordinary child. Little did I suspect you would become Cypher's biggest and most damaging threat. That's enough talk. You have the skills and wherewithal to reach Citadark Isle. Let me see your abilities in full glory. This is Cypher Admin Ardos! After encountering him many times on our journey and even seeing him fight in Gatchion Port, we go up against him at long last. He starts off with the very Alakazam that he fought against Zook with. Level 44, Psychic type. Inner focus for its ability so it cannot flinch. Psychic, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch. Lots of type coverage there. Not really the greatest moveset for Alakazam that I've ever seen, but Alakazam is friggin' powerful and I don't think anyone will argue otherwise. His other starting Pokemon, Swellow, level 43, Normal Flying type. Guts for its ability. Shadow Sky, Shadow Break, Shadow Half, and Shadow Mist. I think this turn, I'm gonna go for the snag on that Swellow. I know it's paralyzed, uh, it is paralyzed, I know it's got full health, but I'm feeling lucky. Let's see. Is my luck gonna come through in a really important battle against Ardos himself? Can I do it? One! No. Ah, uh, damn it. It's really hopeful that I'd get that. It would be. Uh, I don't really say this often though, but that'd be so clutch if I pull that off, man. Alright. Young goes King. Kingdra does not go down, of course. Oh no, not Hydro Pump, not Hydro Pump, not Hydro Pump! Yeah, I wasn't surviving that one. 
Sorry, Gadzooks. You put in a valiant effort, but it wasn't enough. Okay. Where should I go for next? Uh, I need to outspeed that thing, and I need to outspeed it really, really badly. So let's go for Trifecta here. Okay. Uh, Shadow Break. Uh-oh. I'm just saying, oh, a lot here. I'm a little bit nervous because he is higher leveled. He is really strong. And oh, come on! Really? Ah, uh, okay. I knew Dodrio was going to be squishy, but come on. Really? I know Jinzo's weak to Hydro Pump, but I just want to send it out because it's kind of the fastest remaining member of the team. Uh, Jolteon can take care of that. Kingdra, I... I'll just leave Jinzo to take care of Swellow. Okay. That's how I'll do things. I kind of want to use Rain Dance to cancel out. I kind of want to use Rain Dance to cancel out the effects of Shadow Sky, but Kingdra on the field, just in case something really stupid happens, I don't want to chance it. All right. Let's do Psychic on Swellow. Let's weaken it a little bit. Hopefully not KO it. Do Thunderbolt on Kingdra. Finish it off. Oh, man, Kingdra, I hate you so much. Don't get me wrong. I love Kingdra using it on my team. I just hate it when the opponent has it. It's only weak to Dragon type, and I guess Fairy type now is. I, I, I don't know. I just I've always loved Heracross, and I think pretty much everyone else has as well. I'm gonna. uh... Yeah, let's do this. I just kind of want to go offensive because he took out two of my Pokemon in one turn, and that really, really hurt. I'd like for Trifecta to stop being unlucky, by the way, because. <laughs> I feel like just about every time it's fainted, it was just due to really awful luck and nothing else. Like, I think there was like one time it fainted that I could attribute it to it being a bad decision on my part or like, you know, Dodrio just being not good defensively. But you know what I mean. It just, it gets so unlucky all the time. Maybe just the omens telling me I shouldn't have used it. Ah oh, well. I'll be with it till the bitter end. It's one of my more favorite Pokemon. Anyway, Electabuzz is a shadow Pokemon. Level 43, Electric Type, Static for its ability, Shadow Break, Shadow Half, Shadow Mist, Shadow Storm. Now, starting off, it does indeed have Shadow Half. Had this not been late in the adventure, and had we not already have Pokemon that have that same move, I would have probably recommended this. How many times did I say had there? Holy crap. All right. What is your last Pokemon? What's it going to be? Snorlax. And it's a Shadow Pokemon. Normal type, level 43, normal type. Immunity or thick fat for its ability. As a Pokemon that you can catch, it can be either or. And whoa, Shadow Half! Crap! Um, okay. As for Snorlax's moveset, Shadow End and Shadow Shed. Those are its only two moves that it has access to use right now, but getting into Snorlax. All right, now I'm a little worried about Snorlax. I do got the timer balls, but Snorlax has always been a harder Pokemon to catch. Only has a catch rate of 25. And oh, actually, forgot to bring this up when I was going over Snorlax. It does have leftovers, as you might have seen on screen. So you can get two leftovers. Oh, God. Oh, God. Shadow End. Ow. Ugh. Okay, uh, going into Shadow End, that really, really hurts. I'm thinking basically that is... Uh, Freaking, it's a shadow version of Double Edge is what that is. And it hurts. It really, really does. The only real downside about it is that it's inaccurate. It only hits 60% of the time, and I'm not really sure why it's that inaccurate, but hey, it's 120 power, it's physical, and Snorlax's attack stat is huge, so I feel really bad for Jinzo having to take that attack. All right, let's avenge you by catching that Snorlax. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, actually, no. I'll have Billy Bob use Protect just in case it gets targeted with a Shadow move because that will be super effective and it might be able to KO it even with its large HP. And Billy Bob is just kind of looking at me like, seriously, while I'm having it do that. <laughs> love it when its eyes are partially open. All right, Timer Ball. Come through for me, Timer Ball. I love you, Timer Ball. I bought so many of you. Please be good to me like I was good to you and your brothers. I saved your entire family of Timer Ball kin. Caught Snorlax in the first ball. Down to my last two Pokemon, but that went relatively smooth, aside from that really, really bad luck with Dodrio. Okay. This is trouble. Something's not done. I realize now I should have crushed you much earlier. This is out of my hands now. I must defer you to Master Greville himself. But boy, don't think that this is over. I won't abandon my dreams. 